Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In a series of home appliances, in this video lecture, we will discuss about room air conditioner. Let us start with the function of air conditioner. Air conditioner controls the temperature of the air within a room. It also controls the humidity of the air in the room. It provides filtration of the air and it also controls the movement of the air within a room. So these are main four functions expected from the room air conditioner. Air conditioner have main three different systems. First system that is the electrical system. In electrical system it consists of motor, compressor, fan motor, control switch, relay and the thermostat. Another system that is a refrigerant. It consists compressor, condenser, dryer, strainer, capillary tube, evaporator, accumulator, etc. And the third system that is air path and it consists grill, air filter, vent, door, controls, etc. Let us understand the construction of air conditioner. We have two different uh, types of air conditioner. One is a window type and one is split type. In split type, we have indoor unit as well as outdoor unit. In window type, we have construction like this. We have evaporator. Here we have a condenser. Most of the part of the air conditioner remain out of the room. We have compressor and motor. From the room, hot air will be taken from the lower part inside through the filter and it will pass through the evaporator and the cold air will be again spread in the room as well as Atmospheric air will be taken in from the back side, from the lower side and it will pass through the conditioner. It absorbs the heat and again it is released to the atmosphere. Now let us discuss the working of the air conditioner. And the working again, it can be divided into three different cycles. First is a electrical circuit, second that is a vapor compression cycle and third that is air circulation. We are more interested in electrical circuit. So let us start with the working of electrical circuit. Electrical circuit normally consists of compressor motor. Compressor motor that is capacitor start, capacitor run, single phase type of induction motor. It also consists thermostat, thermal overload relay and one more relay. And another is the fan motor. Now let us see the diagram of the electrical circuit and then it will be more clear. Now we have supply single phase supply phase and neutral 230 volt AC is given here we have a compressor motor that is the main or major electrical part of the air conditioner it is a capacitor start capacitor run motor we have two winding that is a running winding and we have auxiliary or starting winding we have two capacitor one is a running capacitor and one is a starting capacitor. Running capacitor permanently remain in the circuit 
while starting capacitor and starting winding are disconnected from the circuit once the motor picks up the maximum speed. Here we use one relay. Normally it is remain in the de-energized form. In a due course of time it energizes and the contacts are open and the starting winding and starting capacitor both are disconnected from the circuit. We have thermal overload relay to protect the compression motor. In case of overload current or in case of short circuit, thermal overload relay trips and it protects the motor. As well as we have a thermostat. Compression motor is automatically switched on and switched off with the help of thermostat and thermostat operate based on the set temperature. Once the room temperature goes beyond a set temperature, thermostat opens and compression motor shuts down. Another is a fan motor. In fan motor again we have running winding and starting winding. It is also single phase induction motor but capacitor remain in the circuit permanently. It also receives phase and neutral. Phase is through the selector switch. We can have a possibility for selecting a speed whether high or low. In case of high speed voltage are directly given to the winding of the motor. In case of low speed selection voltage is given through the inductor and some of the voltage drops across the inductor and the reduced voltage is applied to the winding. So speed will be slightly less. So we have two possibility of selecting the speed. Next is vapor compression cycle. When we switch on the air conditioner, low pressure vapor from the evaporator is sent to the compressor. At the compressor, pressure is increased and with higher pressure, the vapor is sent to the condenser. Vapor condense in the condenser and heat is removed from the vapor. Let us see the diagram again and then it will be more clear. So here we can see that we have an evaporator. Evaporator sent low pressure vapor to the compressor. At the compressor low pressure vapor compressed and the high pressure vapor is sent to the condenser. From the condenser heat is removed from the vapor and then again through the capillary tube it is sent back to the evaporator. At the evaporator the room air is passes through surrounding the evaporator and cool air is again spread to the room. Condensed vapor is sent to the evaporator through capillary tube at low pressure. Low pressure liquid of evaporator absorbs heat from the refrigerant surface and is converted into vapor. Vapor goes to the compressor and this cycle repeats again and again. And the third system that is air circulation. Air from the room enters the unit through the filter from the lower side and passes over the evaporator and cool air spreads in the room. From the air heat is absorbed in the evaporator and cool air 
is again transferred and spread to the room. Moisture of the circulating air due to dehumidification is collected in the tray and this moisture will use for the cooling purpose of the compressor and compressor motor. Atmospheric air enters the unit and passes over to condenser. Air absorbs the heat and comes out as a hot air. So here we can see that from the lower side air from the room will enter to the unit from the through the air filter it passes through the evaporator heat is absorbed from the air and then cool air is again spread to the room same way the atmospheric air from the back side from the bottom side it is taken into the unit it passes over to the condenser heat is transferred to the atmospheric air from the condenser and then atmospheric air is released to the outside as a hot air. So this way we can have a air circulation for the room air as well as atmospheric air. Now rating of the air conditioner. For the room type of air conditioner we have normally half ton, one ton, 1.5 ton and mostly up to 2 ton of the rating is possible. Now let us understand what exactly we mean by 1 ton or 2 ton capacity. That is the cooling capacity and what exactly we mean by cooling capacity. 1 ton capacity means capacity to prepare 1 ton of ice in 24 hours or we have another definition 1 ton capacity means 1000 kilocalorie per hour so this is all about uh, room air conditioner thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much